Hey guys, Jeff here. A Fab Lab education specialist named Gail Myers recently reached out to me and told me that her and her students were going to 3D design and then 3D print custom Matchbox cars. They plan on modeling a variety of shapes and then racing them to see which shape car is the fastest. And because I've been taking requests from teachers about what to model in Tinkercad, she reached out and wanted to see how I would approach cars. Now this is gonna be the first part in a series where I model different types of cars. Because as luck would have it, I got a similar request from the Cleveland Mobile Fab Lab. Now this first round is gonna be very simple cars made out of very basic shapes. But the next videos will gradually increase in complexity. I should note that I was working on a different video when this request came in, but this one took priority because Gail's class was coming up. Should I tell them what it is? No. Okay, I'll just, I'll just say that it's from the Nickelodeon universe. So you'll see that video before you see cars, but then cars. Okay, here we go, 3D printable matchbox cars. So the first thing we need to do is get the dimensions of a matchbox car and they're one to 64 scale. We also need the track width because our wheels need to fit inside the track. So we need the inside dimension of the track, which looks like 1.25, one and a quarter. Uh, we need wheel size now, average car wheel size. Since it's 33, we're just gonna divide that by 64, and that gives us about a half inch for a wheel diameter. Uh, we also wanna know the length two and a half to three inches. Okay. Now before we do any of that, we have to change this to inches so that all our dimensions are correct. Now when you use the ruler to figure out the car width, if you do it from the left side, it'll show the wheel length. And I don't wanna do all that math. So if you put it on this side and make sure that it's on the right side of this part, when you click on the other wheel, it tells you the total length. We're gonna give it a little clearance and put it at 1.125. Now we'll make four and we're gonna start modeling a car with just the box. So here we go. So here's the first basic car out of just boxes, and now we need to make some clearance for the wheels. So let's do that. Okay, here's the first one and I'm happy with that. So since we already have the wheel layout, we're just gonna copy that and make our next car. And this next one is going to be out of the triangle or the pyramid. So here we go. Now we need to add a little, little swag to the car. And before we do that, we're gonna drop it down to the bottom plane so that when we print this, everything will be printable and nothing will be hanging in midair. Now something important here is to make sure that there's no unsupported overhangs since we're printing these. So I'm just gonna make sure that at all these joints, there is support from below. And while this is a bridge, Technically, it's, it's not a huge one, but we're gonna give it some support so there's less of a bridge. Now we'll group them all, and the color, I like the multicolor, so there's car number two. This car, we're gonna make only all the cylinders. It's gonna be it's gonna be a bit of a bigger car to see if it makes a difference between the other two when we race. And 
and just to give it a little swag we're gonna give you we're gonna give you some headlights again we need clearance for the wheels and then on this bottom part I'm just gonna clean up this little area so that it's easier to print there's not as much of an overhang when it prints right there now when we initially talked gail and i didn't know the best way to print the axles or to attach the wheels to the cars and here's one way you can make an axle that is at the bottom of the car. And if you were to choose this method, I would cut off a little more of the bottom of the car so that the axle is in the middle of the wheel well, so that everything lines up, and then print the whole thing, and then you could snap the wheels on. That's one way. The other way, which she initially thought of, was to put a hole through the car and print the axles and wheels together. So if you did this, I think the placement of everything is, is right because you're gonna need a full hole through the whole wheel just like that you can see so let me know which way works best but here you have it three different cars with three different aerodynamic properties happy racing also here's a sneak peek of the next car that i'm working on